Hi, Frog Squad. Welcome to week two of our yoga class. My name is Coach Laura. I've got Coach June and Coach Darrell helping me out this morning. Um, today we're going to focus a little more on upper body work, so opening up the shoulders, chest, upper back, thoracic spine. Um, so grab your yoga mat, grab some water. If you have a playlist, you can put that on as well, and we'll get started. So we are going to start in child's pose on your mat. So go ahead and come on down. Bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees out wide to either side of your mat. Sit your hips back to your heels and walk your fingertips up toward the top of your space. We're just gonna take a moment here to get settled in. So in child's pose, we're working to traction your spine in opposite directions. With every inhale, sit your hips back a little bit closer to your heels. Every exhale, walk your fingertips up a little bit further. Find a little more length along your spine, across your back and shoulders. And we'll start here with a few deep community breaths. Take a big inhale through your nose, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, and I'll go. One more like that, big inhale, feel your belly fall between your thighs. Open mouth, exhale. Good, start to seal your lips. Continue to find these big community breaths. Community is something that I've been thinking about a lot this week. In this time when we are working on social distancing, isolation, as humans, it's very normal for us to want to find connection. So that distance, that isolation can be a hard feeling for a lot of people. Know that even when you are physically dis distancing yourself, you're still able to find that social connection. You still have this community that is here to support you and connect with you. From this child's pose, start to walk your fingertips over to the right-hand side of your mat. Find a little stretch along your left side body. If you wanna take it a little deeper, maybe you stack your left hand directly on top of your right. Hold your own hand. back through center, and then walk your hands all the way over to the left. Try to match that side body stretch along your right side. And again, maybe you bring your right hand directly on top of your left. Take your time here. Make sure you feel an even stretch. And when you do, walk your hands back through center. And take a second here, maybe rock your head side to side, find a little forehead massage if that feels good. Let's take one more second here to feel really grounded in this space. And then when you're ready, you can walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. We'll come to a tabletop position. So stack your shoulders over your wrists, your hips over your knees. We're gonna find a little movement through your spine here. So on your inhale, find your cow pose, drop your belly down. Roll your shoulders down your back. Take your gaze out in front of you. And exhale, cat, round your spine. Tuck your chin into your chest. Try to look for your belly button. Inhale to your cow, drop your belly down. Open up through your collar belts. Exhale, cat, round your spine. Really press the floor away. Start to take these cat cows at your pace. Work to follow your breath here. Try and exaggerate this movement as much as possible, finding that movement all the way from the crown of your head to your tailbone. Perfect. Take two more rounds just like that at your pace. And when you're done, just meet us back in that tabletop. We'll wait for you here. Start to walk your hands out in front of you. We're gonna come all the way belly down on your mat. Once you're there, press your palms underneath your shoulders. We're gonna find a little baby cobra back then. So press into your palms. Start to lift your heart forward and then up. It's early in our class. You might not feel very warm, so don't feel like you have to take this super deep. Roll your shoulders down. You can press into those palms, maybe a little more if it feels good. And a little bit deeper. 
lower back down. We're gonna find that breath to movement connection again. On your inhale, press into your palms, lift your chest up. And exhale, lower down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, lower down. One more like that. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Go ahead and curl your toes under on your mat. We're gonna press up into your high plank pose. So if pressing up from your toes is too much, know that you can always bend into the knees. Press up here, and then maybe lift up into that plank. Take a second in this plank position. Feel strong in your form here. Drive your heels back if you're up on your toes. Work to form one long line from your shoulders to your hips, through your knees, or maybe all the way to your heels. Good, shoulders stay stacked over the wrists. Take an inhale, and exhale, press back to your downward facing dog. First time here today for most of us. Take a second, make it feel good. Maybe you pedal out your heels, maybe you wag your tail side to side. If you'd like to find a little twist, you can reach one hand for your opposite ankle, anything that feels right here, just take a moment. Good, and then when you're ready, start to find stillness in that down dog. Know that you can always take a bend in your knees here if your hamstrings feel tight. Really press down through the L's of your hands. Draw your shoulder blades back into their sockets. Get them out of your ears. We're gonna warm up the shoulders a little bit. On your inhale, shift forward into your high plank. Stack your shoulders over wrist. And exhale, press back to your down dog. Inhale, high plank. Shift forward, lift your heels up. Exhale, down dog. Press back and try to drive your heels down. One more like that. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. On your inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step your feet forward toward your wrists. We're gonna come into a ragdoll pose. So bring your feet at least hip width distance apart, maybe wider. Take as deep a bend in your knees as you need to here to make sure that your hamstrings feel comfortable. And then you can reach your opposite elbow. Find a little movement. Maybe you sway your torso side to side or bob up and down. Find a little release for your low back. Good. And when you're ready, drop your fingertips down towards your mat. Maybe heel toe your feet in back to hip width distance if you went a little bit wider. And we'll slowly roll all the way up to standing. Good, take your time here. Once you come to the top, maybe you take a few shoulder rolls, bring those shoulders up by your ears, and then all the way down your back. Good. So option here, you can keep your feet hip width distance for a little bit more of a challenge on your balance. You can heel toe your feet so your big toes touch. There's a sliver of space between your heels. Totally up to you. Take a second, maybe you rock your weight forward and back into your toes and your heels side to side. Find the spot where you feel really stable, where your weight is centered across all four corners of your feet. And then once you're there, we'll inhale to mountain pose. Reach your fingertips overhead. Roll your shoulders down your back. Breathe here. Take a second to engage your core. Scoop your hip points up towards your bottom ribs. Suck your belly button in tight. Take an inhale. Exhale, cactus back bend. Roll, post your arms out to the side. Open your heart forward and up. Squeeze your glutes tight to keep your core engaged. Make sure you take this out of your low back. Inhale, mountain pose, reach back up. Exhale, chair with airplane arms. Sit your hips low like you're an imaginary chair. Shoot your fingertips back behind you. Spiral your palms to face down. Then squeeze your pinkies towards your midline behind you. Feel your shoulder blades draw back into their sockets there. Good. Really squeeze your inner thighs in, sit your hips low. Try and lose that sway from your low back. Good. Now from this airplane arm position, we're gonna find a bind. So interlace all 10 fingers behind you. Try to draw the heels of your palms together to touch if possible. And then think about drawing your knuckles down towards your mat. We're gonna keep this bind as we inhale to mountain pose with a bind. So open your heart forward and up, really focus on drawing those knuckles down. And then we'll keep that bind as we exhale to a forward fold with your bind. Hinge from your hips. So options here, take as deep a bend in your knees as you need to. The knees do not need to be locked out. 
If at any point this bind becomes painful on your shoulders, know that you can always ditch it. Maybe you just bring your fingertips down to the mat instead. But if you're keeping that bind, check in. Try and draw the heels of your palms to touch. And then if you have the shoulder mobility, see if you can lift your bind up off of your hips to get a little bit deeper into that shoulder. Beautiful, guys. If you still have that bind, go ahead and release it. Bring your hands down to the mat. On an inhale, we'll halfway lift. Bring your fingertips towards your shins. Extend your spine to parallel with your mat. Breathe here. Good. Start to shift your weight a little more into the ball of your foot. Suck your belly button up to flatten out the low back. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Take an inhale. Exhale, high plank. Plant your palms on the mat. Step your feet back. Good. Find your form here. We're going to take this through a chaturanga. So on an inhale, shift your shoulders two inches in front of your wrist. Exhale, lower down to your low plank. Pin your elbows in tight. On an inhale, we'll find an upward facing dog. Options here, you can keep your thighs on the mat or if you want a little more of a challenge, press into the tops of your feet to lift your thighs up. And then on your exhale, flip your feet into downward facing dog. So that's our chaturanga. We'll take several today. Know that you always have the option to skip it. So maybe you step into that high plank. Just hold here, building up a little more core strength and meet us in downward facing dog when we get there in our flow. Totally up to you. We're gonna flow through those movements a few times through. On an inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold at the top of your mat. Walk your feet up. Inhale, halfway lift, extend your spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose, root down to rise up. Exhale, cactus, back bend, goal post your arms. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, sit low, find that bind. Inhale, mountain with your bind, puff up. Exhale, forward fold with your bind, hinge forward. Drop your fingertips down to the mat, inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Option to hold that plank. We'll inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, press it back. One more like that, inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Exhale, cactus back bend. Inhale, mountain. Exhale, chair with airplane arms, find your bind. Inhale, mountain with your bind, puff up. Exhale, forward fold with your bind. Inhale, halfway lift, extend. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. We'll meet back in your downward facing dog. Yeah, once you're in that down dog, take a deep inhale, fill up your lungs. Big community exhale, let it go. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your right heel high. Breathe here for a moment, good. Hard flex through your right foot, try and stamp your heel back on the wall behind you. And then drop your right hip, lift up through your left hip crease to align your hips here, beautiful. Take an inhale. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot forward between your hands. Good, take a second here. You can shimmy your foot forward if you need to. Try to stack the knee over ankle. Now keep your weight in the ball of the left foot so your heel is lifted here. We're gonna inhale to an easy twist. Root your left palm into the mat. Reach your right fingertips up toward the ceiling. Good, breathe here. So take a second to continue to square your hips. Work to lift up through the left hip crease. Drop the right hip down, really engage the right glute. So this twist is coming from your thoracic spine through your back and not from the alignment of your hips. Beautiful. Really squeeze the inner thighs towards the midline of your body. Take an inhale. We're going to exhale to a crescent with an open arm twist. Try to make this movement as controlled as possible as you lift up. Beautiful. Your left fingertips will reach out in front of you, right long behind you. Continue to squeeze those inner thighs in. Take your shoulders down your back. Good. Relax the tension in your neck. We'll inhale to warrior two. You're going to spiral all the way around, face the opposite direction. Breathe here. Good. Take a second, find your balance. 
So check in on that alignment. Your right toes are going to point forward, out in front. And then your left foot is going to be angled down. So you can press your entire back foot down into the mat. Your left toes will start to point towards the front corner of your mat. Good. Then find your core strength here. Work to align your shoulders directly over your hips. Take any forward surfing motion out of it. Bring it back in. Good. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep your legs as they are. Tick tock your hands to 12 and 6. Breathe here. Good. So options here. Maybe your fingertips reach the floor. You can hover them just off your mat. You always have the option to bend that bottom arm. Press your forearm into your thigh here for a little more support in this posture. We just want to avoid dumping into the side body. So wherever you are, tune into the strength of your obliques to keep your torso lifted up off of your top thigh. Good. Really think about lengthening through your right side body. Nice job, guys. We'll inhale to a reverse triangle. Straighten through both legs. Reach your right fingertips up and back. Breathe here. Your left hand can come down towards your left thigh. Or maybe you take a bend in your elbow. Bring that hand behind your low back. Sometimes putting my hand there can help me remember to engage my core and press my low back back into that hand just for a little, little additional reminder if that helps. Take a second here to make sure your hips are aligned. The tendency is to let that left hip come up and drop the right. Make sure that we align the hips here to draw the core in. With every inhale, see if you can reach up a little bit higher. Every exhale, reach back a little bit further. Breathe some space along that right rib cage. Big inhale. Exhale, high to low. Plank, chaturanga, cartwheel your hands down. Snap, step your right foot back. Inhale to that up dog. Exhale, down dog. We're going to do all of that on the opposite side. So inhale to your three-leg dog. Lift your left heel high this time. Breathe here. Hard flex to that left foot. Rotate your foot to point your pinky toe down towards your mat, not out to the side of your room. Good. Big inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Set your left foot forward between your palms. Take a second, check in on your alignment. Maybe once you bring your foot down, you inch it forward a little bit more so you can stack that knee over ankle. We'll inhale, easy twist, root your right palm down. Reach your left fingertips up toward the ceiling. Breathe here. Good. With every inhale, grow a little bit longer through the crown of your head. Every exhale, draw your left shoulder back. Open up through your collarbones. Check in on the stability of your low body. Engage your glutes. Squeeze your inner thighs toward the midline. Take an inhale. Exhale, press it with open arm twist. Rise up with as much control as you can. Good. Draw your belly button in. Think about this twist coming from the thoracic spine. So continue to press the hips forward. Engage the glutes. With every inhale, grow longer. Every exhale, see so if you can twist deeper. Open your chest up toward the side. Inhale, warrior two, spiral the back foot down, open up to the opposite side of the room. Breathe here. Good, check in on the alignment of the feet. So the left toes point forward this time. Draw the left knee towards the pinky toe edge of the front foot, avoid caving in here. You're gonna feel a little more opening sensation along that left hip. Good. <laughs> Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. Keep the legs as they are. Fingertips draw to 12 and 6. Same options on the side. You can hover the left fingertips. Maybe you press the elbow into the thigh for a little more support. Then draw the core in. Extend long through the side body here. Good. Gaze can go up toward the ceiling, or if you feel a little more supported by bringing your gaze down towards your left big toe, that's an option as well. Find a focal point. We'll inhale, reverse triangle, straighten through both legs. Reach your left fingertips up and back. Breathe here. Take a second to align the hips, lift up through the left, drop the right. Both legs are straight, but they're still working. Energetically try and draw your heels toward the center of your mat. Feel your inner thighs engage there. And then focus in on that side body stretch along your left side with every breath. Inhale. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga, cartwheel your hands down, step the left foot back. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, big inhale, fill up. Open mouth, exhale, let go. 
We're gonna flow here, one breath to move it. So inhale, three leg dog, lift your right heel. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Root your left palm down. Inhale, easy twist, open up. Exhale, crescent with an open arm twist. Make it as controlled as possible, beautiful. Inhale, warrior two, spiral open. Exhale, extended side angle. Find length through that side body. Inhale, reverse triangle. Straighten both legs, reach up and back. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga, cartwheel down. Inhale, up dog. Always option to hold that plank. Exhale, down dog, press it back. Other side, inhale, three leg dog, left heel. Exhale, low lunge, step forward, root your right palm down. Inhale, easy twist, open up. Exhale, crescent with an open arm twist, find your balance, nice. Inhale, warrior two, bring it around. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten both legs, draw your heels in. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. One more time, inhale, three leg dog, right heel. Exhale, low lunge. Root your left palm down. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, crescent, open arm twist, rise up. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle, finding that balance today. Inhale, reverse triangle, find length. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, three leg dog, left heel. Exhale, low lunge. Root your right palm down. Inhale, easy twist. Exhale, crescent with open arm twist. Inhale, warrior two. Exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, reverse triangle. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow at your pace. We meet back as a community in that down dog. God, one more big inhale, fill up your lungs. Open mouth, exhale, big release here. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your right heel. Exhale, low lunge, step it forward. Inhale, easy twist, root your left palm down, right hand reaches up. Exhale, horizon lunge. So you're gonna spiral down to the pinky toe edge of both feet. Start to reach your right fingertips long behind you. You're really gonna feel your IT band here. <laughs> I think June found her IT band. <laughs> so really try and press down into that left heel to lift your hips up, straight. <laughs> she said that's amazing. I hope that you feel that way too. <laughs> so check in on this front leg, this right foot that's forward. Make sure those toes are pointed out so they're not pointed to the front of the room anymore, but they're pointed to the side of your mat just like your knee is it's here. Terrible. So we're still finding that alignment. Terrible. We'll inhale to a lunge with reach. And then we're going to exhale back to that horizon lunge. Wow. Open up. <laughs> One more like that. Inhale, lunge with reach. Take one. Exhale, horizon lunge. Bring it back last time. Inhale, lunge with reach. And then we're gonna exhale to a wide leg forward fold. So walk your hands all the way through center. So we change directions there. Perfect, guys. Check in on your feet. Draw your toes in a little bit, heels out. Good. And then shift your right board into the ball of your foot. Think about lifting your tailbone up toward the ceiling and the crown of your head toward the floor. So many options with your hands here. Maybe your palms stay on the mat for a little more support. If you like, maybe you hold on to opposite ankle, or I'm sorry, to your ankles here or your shins to pull yourself a little bit deeper into this wide leg forward fold. If it feels good, maybe you take a few twists. You can plant one hand through center, do the opposite hand up to the ceiling. If you do it on one side, just make sure you do it on the other. Totally up to you. Let this feel organic, whatever your body needs. <laughs> We're gonna come out of it. So you can either bring your hands to your hips or tee out your arms to the side here. On an inhale, rise up with a flat back. Draw your core in. 
And we're gonna exhale to horse pose. So pivot your feet, heels in, toes point out to the corners of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center, sit your hips low. No, you're right. Oh, okay. You guys are facing different directions. <laughs> you can turn around if you want. <laughs> Good, so check in on that horse. Actively draw your core in. We don't wanna engage, or we don't wanna keep the sway of the low back. Draw the core in to flatten that out a little bit. Good. And then we're gonna find some twists here. So go ahead and bring your hands towards your inner thighs. As you inhale, grow long through your spine. Exhale, twist to the right, drop the left shoulder down. Good. With every inhale, grow a little bit longer through the crown of your head. And exhale, deepen that twist. On your inhale, bring it back through center. And exhale, twist to the left, drop the right shoulder down. Continue to sit low in that horse. Good, lengthen through the spine, find that twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist to the left. Take two more rounds of these twists in each direction at your pace. Come back to that connection with your breath. Take your time here. When you're done, we'll just meet back in the center that horse pose and bring your hands back to heart center. Sit one inch lower. <sighs> Inhale, star pose. Get big. Exhale, warrior two to the top of your mat. Inhale, reverse triangle, find length. Exhale, high to low plank. I'm going to take it back through your flow. Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. We're going to do all of that on the opposite side. Inhale, three leg dog. Lift your left heel high. Exhale, low lunge. Step it forward. Move your right palm down. Inhale, easy twist. Open up. Exhale, horizon lunge. So remember, turn those left toes to the side of your mat first. Then take it to the pinky toe edge of both feet. Draw your left fingertip toward the back of the room. Good. So you're going to feel this through that left hip and glute and really tune into that right IT band. Work to press into your right palm to lift your hips up. Good. Inhale, lunge with reach. Pivot forward. Reach that left hand long. Exhale, go guys. Lunge, open up. One more. Inhale, lunge with reach. Pivot forward. Exhale, horizon, and lunge. Ha, last one here. Inhale, lunge with reach. Exhale, wide leg forward, fold, walk your hands all the way through center. Second time here, if there's anything else you'd like to take in this wide leg forward fold, a different variation, you're welcome to. Maybe you work to pull yourself a little deeper. Option to walk your hands through your feet to the opposite side of the room. See if you can take it a little deeper here. Totally up to you. Play around with it, see what feels right. Try and shift your weight back into the ball of the foot. Lift the sit bones up toward the ceiling, not back behind you. Good. Option to bring your hands to your hips or tee out your arms to the side. On an inhale, we rise up with a flat back. Exhale, horse pose. Turn the toes out, heels in. Hands to heart center, sit low. Good. Check in on that form. Draw the core in. Press down through all four corners of the feet. Try to take your knees out toward the pinky toe edges of your feet. Avoid letting them cave in. And then extend your fingertips out long to the side. We're going to find some little circles with those shoulders. So just, a, just a quarter, a dime, little circles here. Then start to open them up, make them a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Check in on that horse, make sure we're still low. And then make those circles a little bit bigger. Start to make them real big, really open up through that shoulder joint. <laughs> and then go ahead and take it in the opposite direction. Flip it around. We're going to get both sides. I'm not where you start. <laughs> Got nice big circles. Check in. Make sure that core is still drawing in. Suck your belly button to your spine. Make these circles a little bit smaller. Take it in reverse. A little bit smaller, a little bit smaller. Coming back down that dime, quarter size. Good. Sit one inch lower. Reach those fingertips out as long as you can. Inhale, star pose. Lift up. Exhale, warrior two. 
Inhale, reverse triangle, find length. Exhale, high to low, plank, chaturanga. Take it through your flow. Swing me back in that downward facing dog. God, how are we feeling? Amazing. Wonderful, Great. we're moving on into the floor work. So on an inhale, gaze yeah. forward. Exhale, high plank. Stack your shoulders over wrist. Got root down through your right palm. Inhale, high, or I'm sorry, side plank. Reach your left fingertips up to the ceiling. Options here to keep both feet grounded or drop your right knee down to the mat. We're going to go into side plank star crunches. So on an inhale, reach your fingertips and toes long in opposite directions. Exhale, knee to elbow, crunch in tight. Inhale, find length. Exhale to crunch, good. Inhale for length. Exhale to crunch, take these at your pace. It looks like we all chose that knee down option, which is fantastic. Option here, if you do want to keep up on that foot, you can do these from your full plank expression as well. Totally up to you. Just the shoulder. <laughs> Shoulder's crying. Last three. Two. And one. Inhale that side plank. And exhale back to your high plank okay. around your palms. We're doing the same thing on the opposite side. Shift your weight into that left hand. Inhale, side plank. Open up. Good. Breathe here. Option to drop that bottom knee again. We'll inhale, reach your fingertips and toes long. Exhale, knee to elbow crunching. Inhale for length. And exhale to crunch. Looking to target those obliques here as you really draw that knee to elbow. Find that deep exhale. Good. Nice job. Try to find that alignment. Shoulders stay stacked. Hips stay stacked here as well. Avoid turning the torso down to face the floor. Keep it open. Nice job, guys. Three more. Last two. And last one. Inhale to your side plank. And exhale back to your high plank. Round your palms. Take a seat. Whew, we're taking it down to your back. Don't worry. We're going to get a little break for those upper body and shoulders. Grab a sip of water if you need it. <laughs> and then we're going to take it all the way down to your back for recline down angle sit-ups. So bring the bottoms of your feet to touch, take your knees out wide, and then interlace all ten fingers behind your head. Elbows go out wide. Create a little space between your chin and your chest. Take an inhale. Exhale, lift your shoulder blades up off the mat. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift up. Good. Take these at your pace. Gaze is up toward the ceiling. Find a long neck. Make sure your low back is pressing down into your mat here. Really feel that connection in your core as you lift up. Good. Beautiful control, coaches. Nice job. If you want a little more of a challenge here, you can really squeeze your heels in towards one another and then hover your heels one or two inches off the mat to feel that lower core fire up even more. I think we found it. <laughs> Good. For four. Three. We pulse in two. Stay up in one. Reach your fingertips out long in front of you. Relax your neck and pulse. 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 Good. Try to keep those shoulders off the mat the whole time. Yes, you can. You're here for four. Three, two, and one. Release. Reach your fingertips and toes out long in opposite directions. Maybe your low back lifts up off the floor. Find a long body stretch. Woo! And when you feel ready, tuck your knees into your chest. You can rock and roll side to side. Maybe find a back massage. When you're ready, start to rock and roll forward and back the length of your mat. We're coming back into that plank position one more time. I knew you'd be excited to hear it. Yes. We gotta get those shoulders bored before we can stretch it all out. So come back to that high plank, plant your palms on the mat, step your feet back. We're going to high to low plank walk up. So take an inhale, exhale, come down to that forearm plank. Inhale, high plank, walk up. Exhale, forearm plank, bring it down. So options here, you can always come to your knees and do the same movement of high to low plank walk ups. If these walk-ups don't feel good, maybe you come to that plank position and instead work shoulder taps, tap opposite shoulder. Whichever variation you choose, you want to treat those hips as still as you can. Good. If you've been leading with one hand the whole time, go ahead and switch it. Try leading on the opposite side. If you're already alternating, keep it going. Good. Last three. Two. 
Feet back in that high plank in one. Take an inhale. Exhale to your down dog. Press it back. Try to take some of the weight off of your upper body. Ideally, there's an even weight distribution between your heels and your palms here. So really think about lifting up through your hip crease. Good, draw the L's of your palms into the mat, spiral the biceps forward, triceps back. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your right heel high. And we'll exhale to your scorpion. So bend your right knee, draw your heel towards your glute. Start to feel that opening sensation through your hip. If this feels pretty easy for you, option to take this into wild thing. With control, you'll start to bring the ball of your right foot down to the mat and reach your right fingertips up and back. Really drive down through the feet. Think if you can find an up dog or back bend sensation through the upper back. And again, if this isn't for you, scorpion right here, still opening up through that hip flexor. Whatever variation you chose, inhale to that three leg dog, come back through center. Exhale, low lunge, step your right foot forward. We'll inhale to your warrior one. Spiral that back foot down so you can press your heel into the mat. Left toes point up towards the upper left hand corner. And then we'll rise up. Got it. So a little bit different than a crescent lunge because that back foot is spiraled down. So options here to take a shorter or wider stance so we can get that whole back foot down to the mat. And then check and make sure your hips are square to the top of your mat. So draw your right hip crease back, squeeze your left glute to square here, good. Again, play around with that stance. Maybe it's a little wider or shorter for you, that's okay. See if you can bend a little bit deeper into that front knee. Good, take an inhale. Exhale, we're gonna form a bind behind your hips. Again, try and draw the heels of your palms to touch. Inhale, puff up your chest. We'll exhale to humble warrior, hinge from your hips. Bring your torso to the inside of that front thigh. Think about making a connection between your right side body and your right inner thigh here. So options, if this bind becomes too much or if you don't feel supported in your upper body, maybe you bring your hands down to the mat and kind of walk down a little bit deeper here. If you feel good in that bind, try and draw the heels of the palms to touch and then maybe you lift the bind up off your hips. Continue to square the hips forward. So draw the right hip crease back, engage the left glute. Nice work, guys. On an inhale, we'll rise up with control. And exhale, release that bind, shake it out a little bit. <laughs> really root down into your right foot. We're gonna inhale to the single leg mountain. Shift your weight into that right foot, extend your left eye to parallel. Find your balance here. Good. Working to form three 90 degree angles in your ankle, your knee, and your hip. Perfect. Inhale. Exhale, eagle pose. Wrap your left knee up and over your right thigh. Left elbow comes underneath your right, palms together in front of your face. So this is gonna be a lot on some people's shoulders. If this eagle bind doesn't feel right in your body, reach your opposite elbow here instead, work to stack the elbows. Sorry, opposite shoulder here instead, I'm not sure if I said that. <laughs> and then options with those feet. For the full expression of eagle, you wanna try and tuck your left toes behind your right thigh. I don't quite have that mobility, so I'm working to squeeze my heel in. If that doesn't feel good, maybe you keep your toes on the floor here. Whatever variation you need. Then lift your elbows up off of your chest. Try and bring them in line with your shoulders. Keep this bind through your upper body. Inhale, single leg mountain with eagle arms. Bring that knee back to parallel. And exhale to airplane pose with eagle arms. Stay rooted through that right foot. Go ahead. Embrace the shake here. Find that balance. Try to kick long through your left heel. Reach your fingertips out, keep that bind, but try and remove your elbow from your belly button. Good. On an inhale, unwind that bind, bring your hands to heart center. And exhale, lower your back foot down. Find a little release for that standing. Good. We'll inhale to crescent and lunge, reach your fingertips up high. God, roll your shoulders down your back, draw your core in like you're bracing for a punch. And exhale to that easy twist. Your left palm down, you've been here before, maybe inch that foot back a little bit. Root firmly through your left palm, we'll inhale to a side plank, step your right foot back. Breathe here for a moment. One more time in the side plank position, we're just going to hold it, no movement. So again, option to bring that bottom knee down to the floor. Option to bring one foot in front of the other, maybe you stack your feet, or if you want a more advanced variation, maybe you start to hover that top foot. Take an inhale. Exhale, high to low plank, chaturanga. 
Take it through your thumb. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, three leg dog. Lift your left heel. Exhale, scorpion. Bend your left knee. Draw your heel towards your glute. Open up through that hip. And again, option if you want to take this into your wild thing, lower the ball of the left foot down with control. Reach the left fingertips up and back. But breathe here. Try to open the heart forward toward the top of your mat. Embrace that up dog sensation or back bend here. Actively lift the hip points up toward the ceiling. And wherever you are, we'll inhale back to that three leg dog. And exhale to your low lunge. Set the left foot. Spiral the back foot down. Inhale, warrior one. Reach your fingertips up toward the ceiling. Roll the shoulders down, breathe here. Take a second to check in on the alignment. So again, options for a shorter or wider stance that can help you to square the hips forward. Draw the left hip crease back, squeeze the right glute to press the right hip forward. Good, find your balance on this side. Take an inhale. Exhale to form your bind behind your low back. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, humble warrior, hinge from your hips, lower down. Same options with your hands on this side. Maybe you release that bind if it doesn't feel good in your body. Bring your hands down to your mat to support your upper body here. If you're keeping that bind, try and draw the heels of your palms to touch. So really squeeze in, and then maybe that bind lifts up off your low back. Continue to square the hips forward, draw the left hip back, squeeze the right glute, nice adjustments. Try and find length along the left side body and press it into your left inner thigh. Good, on an inhale, rise up with control. And exhale, release that bind, shake out your arms a little bit. Shift your weight into the left foot. Inhale, single leg mountain, extend the right thigh to parallel this time. Find your balance, breathe here. Check in on the standing leg. Maybe there's a micro bend to help protect your knee, but really engage the quad and lift the kneecap up. Good. Shoulders stay stacked over hips, over your heel. Inhale. Exhale, eagle. Draw the right knee up and over the left. Right elbow goes underneath your left. Palms together in front of your face. And again, option to reach for opposite shoulder here. Squeeze in if that eagle bind doesn't feel good in your body. Same options with your feet. If you have the mobility, maybe you tuck your toes behind the standing cap. Maybe you just squeeze the heel in tight to find that compression. Or maybe you keep the toes on the mat to help with the balance, that's okay. This pose is all about compression of the major joint. So once you find your variation, squeeze your inner thighs in, squeeze your forearms in, squeeze your biceps in tight, and then lift the elbows up off the torso. Good. Keep that bind through the upper body. Inhale, single leg mountain with eagle arms. Exhale, airplane pose with eagle arms. Take the heel back behind you. Good, try and find your balance on this side. Engage the standing leg. Take the elbows away from your belly button. Good. On an inhale, bring your hands to heart center and wind the arms. And exhale, lower the back leg down. Good, find a little release there. Inhale to your crescent lunge. Lift the right heel up off the mat. Exhale, easy twist. Root the right hand down. We'll inhale to your side plank. Step your left foot back to meet your right. Breathe here. One more time in this side plank. You get an option to drop your bottom knee. Maybe you align the feet one in front of the other. Maybe you stack them. Maybe you find extension of that top leg. Last time we're going to be in a side plank today, I promise. Take an inhale. Exhale, high to low plank. Chaturanga, take it through your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, three leg dog, lift your right heel. Exhale, half pigeon on the right. Draw your right knee to wrist. Take a peek toward the back leg. Ensure the back knee and toe point down towards your mat. You can uncurl your toes here to press the top of the foot down. You're welcome to stay upright. Maybe you feel more of a hip flexor stretch along your left side here. That's great. If you'd like to hinge forward, you can start to lower your belly toward your front thigh and shin. Take this time to come back to your breath. That heart rate may have increased during our flow. See if you can slow it down. Find stillness in your body. Notice when your body slows down, 
if your mind starts to pick up the pace a little bit. See if you can slow that down too. If you did hinge your torso forward, go ahead and walk your hands back in. Curl your left toes under and press back to your downward facing dog. Maybe take a second to pedal out the heels, find a little release on that side. And when you're ready, you just come back to stillness in that down dog. Inhale, three-leg dog, lift your left heel this time. Exhale, half pigeon on the left knee to rest. Again, peek toward that back leg, ensure your knee and toe point down. Uncurl the toes, press the top of your foot into your mat. And then option to stay upright. Or if it feels right in your body, maybe you hinge forward, allow your forehead to rest on your mat. Looking for a similar sensation on the side. Come back to your breath. If you did hinge the torso forward, go ahead and walk your palms back underneath your shoulders. Curl the right toes under. Press back to your down dog. Take a second, pedal out the heels, find a release. Inhale to your high plank, shift your weight forward, and exhale, just lower down to your belly, option to drop to your knees here, and come all the way down. We're gonna take it into a belly down shoulder stretch, so go ahead and tee out your arms out to the sides. Gaze towards your right fingertips, press your left ear down into the mat to protect your neck. Then take a bend in the right knee, and start to open up the right hip. Think about stepping your toes out towards your left wrist. Forms. <laughs> so options here. A smaller step can be a little less pressure. So maybe you step a little bit shorter. If you feel like you'd like a little bit more, maybe you take a bigger step. Maybe not just your toes touch the floor, maybe you drive your heel in. And if you still like a little more, maybe you reach your right fingertips back for your left to really embrace the stretch along the left shoulder. <coughs> embrace it. Continue to press the left ear down into the mat to protect your neck. Do you feel that relaxed? Absolutely fine. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, take your time when you're ready. Start by bringing the right hand back toward the mat and come out the way you came in. And start to unwind the hips. Come back to that belly down position. And the same thing on the opposite side. Gaze towards your left hand, press your right ear down into the mat. Take a bend in the left knee. Then start to open up the left hip. Step your hand back towards your right hand. Maybe your toes don't touch the ground, that's okay. Maybe your toes touch, maybe you drive your heel all the way down. You can option for that shorter stretch to make it a little less, a uh, shorter step rather, to make it a little less intense. Option for that bigger step to make it deeper. And then maybe you reach your left fingertips back for the right. Again, just looking for a similar sensation on this side. When you feel like you found it, you can draw your left hand back to the mat. Start to step the left hip back. Come back to that belly down position. <sighs> then reach your fingertips out long in front of you this time. Forehead down to the mat. We'll inhale to locust pose. Lift your arms and legs up off the mat. Roll your shoulders down your back. Breathe here. Lengthen through the back of your neck, gazes down toward the floor. Take an inhale, squeeze the glutes. Exhale, try to tap your elbows together behind your shoulders. Open up through your collarbones. Inhale for length. Exhale, lower down. We're gonna flow through that a few times. Inhale, locust pose, lift up. Exhale, elbow, tap, feel your shoulders go back into their socket. Inhale for length. Exhale to lower. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, elbow tap. Inhale for length. Exhale, lower down. One more like that. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, elbow tap. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lower down. Take a belly down, Shavasana. You can keep your arms long or maybe you bring them to the sides. 
You can keep your feet grounded on the mat. Maybe you take a bend in your knees and windshield wiper your legs side to side for a little low back release if that feels nice. And when you're ready, just find stillness in that belly down Shavasana. Bring your gaze back to center, draw your palms underneath your shoulders. And just press yourself up to a seated position on your mat. Any way that feels right. Once you're there, extend your legs out long in front of you. We're going to take it into a seated forward fold. If this position is a lot on your hamstrings, just seated. Note you can always take a bend in your knees. The knees don't have to be locked out. Inhale, reach your fingertips overhead, find them. Exhale, hinge from your hips for that seated forward fold. Maybe you hold on to your shins, your ankles, your feet, whatever feels accessible. With every inhale, go a little bit longer through the crown of your head. Every exhale, fold a little deeper. So think about lowering your belly towards your thigh, and then maybe your forehead towards your shin, if your flexibility allows. Maybe you pull a little on the bottoms of your feet if you want to get deeper in that stretch. But we're looking for a stretching sensation, nothing painful here. Two more big breaths. On your inhale, rise up, reach your fingertips towards your toes. And as you exhale, we're slowly going to roll down vertebra by vertebra, all the way down to your back. Last little bit of core work. Once you're there, just extend your palms down by your hips. Take a bend in your knees. Press the bottoms of your feet into the floor. Draw your heels towards your glutes. We'll inhale to bridge pose. Drive your heels down, lift your hips up. Breathe here. Options, you can keep your palms pressing down into the mat. Or if you'd like a little bit more, you can start to inch your shoulders in and then see if you can form a find underneath your hips. Wherever you are, drive your heels down firmly, lift the hips up. Create a little space between your chin and your chest. Inhale. Exhale, recline down angle is our release. Drop the hips down, bring the bottoms of your feet to touch. Take your knees out wide. Palms can be down on your mat, or maybe you bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart and take this moment to reconnect to your breath. Ready, you can bring your hands towards the outside of your thighs, tuck your knees in towards your belly for happy baby. So options for happy baby. You can hold on to the outer or inner edges of your feet, maybe your ankles or calves. Wherever you are, try to press your tailbone down into your mat, press your low back down. Take your knees out wide. You're welcome to stay stationary. If you want to find a little movement, maybe you rock side to side. Maybe you bend deeply into one knee and straighten the opposite leg for a little more of a hamstring stretch. Just be here. Let your body tell you what it needs. And when you're done, draw both knees in towards your belly. If your right knee tucked in tight, extend your left leg long in your mat. Give that right knee a good squeeze. Big inhale. Exhale to a twist. Draw your right knee across your body. Keep your shoulders planted on your mat. Gaze can stay up toward the ceiling, or if you'd like a little bit more, you can gaze towards your right fingertips. You can unwind your spine. 
Tuck both knees in tightly. Press your low back down to realign. Keep your left knee tucked in tight this time. Extend your right leg long. Give that left knee a good squeeze in. Big inhale. And exhale to twist, guide your knee across. Please can stay up or extend toward the left fingertips this time if you'd like to take it a little bit deeper. You'd like to keep your right, sh your both shoulders here. to even out this twist from left to right. Once your body feels even, feel free to unwind your spine and get back in center. Tuck your knees in one more time. Try to lower your thighs towards your belly, lift your head up, maybe forehead to your kneecaps. One more big squeeze, take an inhale. Exhale to Shavasana. Corpse pose, find a comfortable reclined position. Take a second to close and open your jaw, find a little release. Release your tongue from the roof of your mouth. Notice any tension that you're left holding on to in your neck. You can turn your palms down to ground you in this space. Or turn your palms up to receive all the good energy that your community is sharing with you after this practice. We'll take a moment here to seal in your practice in Shavasana. ready, find a little movement back into your body. Start by wiggling your fingers and toes. Or you can make circles with your wrists and ankles. Rock your head side to side, bring your energy to your neck. Take any movements here that feel good and natural to you. Trust your body to know exactly what you need. And then when you feel ready, you can tuck your knees in and roll to your left or right hand side in the fetal position. Use your bicep as a pillow. Press your opposite palm into your space. this week is when it feels like everything is out of your control, see if you can control your response. That is where your power lies. There is so much that is out of your control right now, but you can control your response. Are you responding to the situation by isolating? by cutting everything and everyone out? Or are you responding with a sense of community? We are physically distanced from each other, but that doesn't mean we have to be isolated. Be there for your community. 
reach out when you need them. Know that they are still there to support and help you. The seed pose is considered a space for rebirth. If you need a new start, consider this your sign. Take one last moment to soak up all that good energy from your community. And when you're ready, press yourself back up to a seated position. complete our practice the same way that we started it with one more deep community breath. Big inhale, biggest one of class, fill up, open mouth, exhale, release. The light in me sees and honors the light in each and every one of you. Namaste. Thank you all so much for practicing with us. We'll see you back in the studio soon.